Hi, I'm Melvin Nicholson, and tonight I am at Callanish Standing Stones in the Isle of Lewis. Now, <laughs> this is New Year's Eve. This is how I choose to spend my New Year's Eve. Uh, I've arrived at the Outer Hebrides most iconic uh, location. Uh, Luskin Tyre Beach as well for Harris, but for a New Year's Eve shoot, figuring it'd be quiet, A, because it's dark, and B, because it's New Year's Eve, I've decided to drive here and see what I can get. Uh, see if I can get something a little, a little bit different. Uh, it's a little overcast at the moment. The cloud is due to lift and the sky is due to clear about 10, 10.30 and it's about half past eight at the moment, eight o'clock. And um, so I'm kind of hoping for, uh, for great things, but uh, yeah, let's, let's go and have a look. So I'm on location and I'm set up and I've come to a regular spot that I normally shoot from and it is in front of this rock. Now coming to a location, a nighttime location while it's still light to get a good feel of vantage points and viewpoints is actually quite a useful thing to do. So I know from this vantage point here, I've got quite a wide shot of the standing stones and most of the stones are isolated. So for those of you that follow some of my videos or have been out with me shooting, you'll know my love of isolation. So getting a little wooden pier and making sure that you've got water all the way around the pier as opposed to the posts sticking up into the trees in the background, that sort of thing. I like isolation. I like things nice and neatly tucked away in their own little space. Now this is quite a challenge because you've got different size uh, standing stones. They're quite slim, they're quite wide. Uh, you've got the one in the middle, which is the tallest. It's a really impressive place to come. And of course, at this time of the evening, quite eerie as well and quite atmospheric which sort of adds to the occasion. So how I've decided to shoot this scene, my original intention was to bring some tea lights, which I did do, some candles, place them at the bottom of the rocks and have them illuminate the rocks in that lovely warm orange glow. Unfortunately, there's just a hint of a sort of wind, a bit of a breeze, and it's knocking the candles out. So all the best laid plans and all that. So my backup plan is to light paint. Now, of course, this has been done a million times before where you get a head torch, you set your camera up over a 30 second period. So my settings are Canon 5D Mark IV, full frame camera, 1635 lens, shooting at 16 mil, as I've already taken a shot, at F 5.6, 30 seconds, ISO 200. And that's given me enough time to paint, walk up to the stones with my torch and actually paint each individual t uh, rock with the torch so that they really, really, really stand out. So I'll show you the image now. So as you can see, each of the rocks that I want lit are lit and they actually stand out. Now, since then, we have a near full moon and of course the clouds have drifted and the moon itself is now really lighting up this scene very subtly, admittedly, but it is throwing quite a bit of light on it. And of course, if you stand here in the dark, your eyes will adjust to the available light. Now, between tomorrow, January the 1st and January the 2nd, there is a wolf moon and so that's going to be worth uh, shooting but at the moment it's pretty full it's pretty bright as well so i'm going to go and crack on with a couple of more shots maybe a couple of close-ups of just three or four rocks in a square format i may light them i may leave them you know down to natural light but we'll see let's see what we get on see you in a minute So I've moved location, I've just pulled forward a little bit and further round so that I have now got almost 
this crisscross section now visible. So rather than coming sort of side on where the standing stones look quite flat and almost two dimensional, I've now moved slightly further over to the left, placing this interesting rock stone here on the bottom right hand corner of my frame. It takes you down and then across. So you've actually now got almost a 3D image of these particular stones, including some of the shadows that are casting out from the moonlight as well. So it should be an interesting shot. I'll do a little video now showing you how I go about light painting. It takes about 30 seconds. And I'll also show you this image up close. Now before I head back to the minibus, I thought, seeing that my photography is now finished, that I will give you a quick guided tour of the Callanish stones. Now they're quite impressive, I have to say, the most impressive stone circle I've seen in mainland UK and the islands. So you have this huge sort of 15, maybe 12, 15 foot stone that stands at the head of the inner circle burial chamber. So what they used to do is here, they would have the cremated remains in burial pots. And then on the outside of that, you see the channel that would run through. And then you've got these stones, which are in a circle on the outside. And then you've got some running off into the distance that direction that direction that, that we've just come from and then down here you have an avenue of them so you have some on the right hand side and then some on the left hand side as well so overall it's quite it's quite an impressive sight it has to be said especially at night anyway i hope you enjoyed my tour of the Callanish stones. So that's it. My tour of the Callanish standing stones on the New Year's Eve. Just a very quick video, just a couple of images. I just wanted you to be out with me on a lovely evening. It's dry, it's pretty wind free now. The full moon's out, life is good. I'm going back to the camper van for a quick brew. Then I'm coming back out with a glass of wine, a live Facebook video to see in the new year with anybody that cares to watch. So until next time, keep shooting, keep smiling, and don't forget, click the subscribe button if you wish to see some more videos in future. Thanks very much. Bye-bye for now. Well, I decided to sleep at Callanish Visitor Centre last night in the bus, and I decided seeing that it's such a lovely sunrise that actually I would go and shoot the sun rising which is just behind me so I'm going to have a quick walk it's a five minute walk to the stones I'll see you there So now I'm at uh, Callanish Standing Stones. Remember last night I was saying about the central dip, the, uh, the grave as it were. Well, the signs here say, inside the circle is a stone burial cairn, or there was. The cremated bodies were deposited with pots such as this beaker, which dates to between 2000 and 1700 BC. It's a burial ground. Ooh, I think somebody's actually here. 
So I'll go and get a couple of shots and see what I can come up with. So, I'm on location, beautiful Callanish standing stones behind me, and we've got the most dramatic weather. You won't be able to see necessarily on camera, but there is a stunning, huge rainbow that is arcing right over, and literally falling about here. So I've got a nice shot of it, just rising through the centre of these stones, but uh, absolutely glorious. And uh, behind me, the blazing sun as it starts to rise up, and pierce through and there are just views all around it's been pretty cold this morning we've got a heavy whole frost we've got uh, lovely white grass um, I mean, it's just what a way to see in a new year absolutely spectacular um, in the distance you've got the mountains that are very very ever so subtly uh, lit it's all just about tones and structures and layers Honestly, it's absolutely amazing. So uh, I'm going to crack on with this rainbow. Here's the shot. So I showed you around the Callanish Standing Stones last night in the dark with a head touch, and it was certainly very atmospheric. Thought I'd bring you back while it's lit and it's daylight and you can see it. So here it is. Now, it really is a spectacular place. This is the burial chamber where they used to bury the cremated returns. I'll bring you to the entrance to it. So this would be the entrance to it. And it would take you through into the, the, uh, into the center circle. Flanked on the outside of that is this large stone here that is the figurehead and then you've got these stones that stand on the outside of it in the form of a circle which are absolutely beautiful and the thing I love about these stones <coughs> excuse me as opposed to a lot of circles is that all the textures are all different different shapes different sizes absolutely beautiful they're not just rocks they're actually almost like slate pillars, which are really, really interesting. Then they go off in that direction, which makes for a lovely shot. They go off in that direction in the distance. They go off in that direction. And then the main direction down here, this is called what I would assume to be the avenue, where you get them both on both sides. Absolutely lovely. So if you look at it from above, it's a really interesting... Uh, a really interesting uh, sort of shape really it's not just a stone circle the inner stone circle and then it goes off on all four sides if you will there are no sides on a circle but you know what I mean so it makes for a really really interesting place um, and it also means that you can shoot it pretty much from any angle so whether it's a sunrise or a sunset it doesn't really matter if you get a rainbow over this section there's always rocks that you can line up with it or frame it as I have done this morning uh, so there's all sorts that you can do with this place but it's just lovely being here and it's quiet well it's quiet at the moment I've just had a lady who lives locally Emma uh, who runs a page called Callanish Digital Designs I shall pop the link underneath in the uh, in the text under the video so Callanish Digital Designs so I'm gonna have a closer look at that th this morning but it's always lovely to meet the locals they can uh, often give you some uh, some information uh, she's been here 15 years um, you know I mean it's and it's just what a place to live I mean I'm sure in the summer it's uh, a little bit busy but uh, in the winter it's, oh, it's just magical it's one of my favorite places in the UK so uh, anyway I have just seen behind me the Sun has just hidden behind a cloud and he's now illuminating those mountains in the distance beautifully well that's where I'm going. Here's the images.
Well, the rain has arrived, my battery's going flat, so I think it's time to head off back to the minibus. I want a brew, I want some breakfast, I'm hungry and I'm thirsty. But what a magical hour this morning. And, you know, hopefully uh, you've enjoyed watching the video. If you have, again, feel free to subscribe. Um, but I'll do a couple more this week from Harrison Lewis and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy them too. So from the Callanish Standing Stones, Happy New Year!